At times we are given expressions like what we have on the screen to simplify these expressions but we end up messing up not because we don't know how to add, subtract, divide or multiply numbers but because just like any other subject or anything we do in life has their own rules and principles we need to follow, mathematics also have what we call an order of operation which is the rule we need to follow when simplifying expressions with multiple operations. That is, that is expression with more than one operators. So today we are going to look at such expressions where we call them order of operation. Which order do we need to follow in an expression having more than one operator? But before we dive into this proper, we are going to look at the greatest common factor and the least common multiple of a number. And these two are going to help us simplify operations uh, in the later course of the video. So stay with me as we begin to handle greatest common factor which is GCF, greatest common divisor which is GCD or what we commonly know know as uh, highest common factor ACF. So what do we mean by greatest common factor? So we are going to define the terms so that we better understand them. First, what do we mean by a factor of a number? A factor of a number is simply another number that divides that number without a remainder or with a remainder of zero. For instance, we can say that 2 is a factor of 8 because 8 divided by 2 is 4, remainder 0. But in the other example, 7 divided by 4 is 1.75. Since we have a decimal place there, therefore there is a remainder. And therefore, we say that 4 is not a factor of 7. Now, what do we mean by greatest? Greatest is simply the highest, meaning that what when we have two numbers, they might have a common factor, but some of the factors may be small, medium, and some will be bigger. So when we are talking about greatest common factor, we are going to pick up a factor from the factors that are common between these two numbers, and we pick the greatest common amongst amongst them. So that's what we mean by greatest common factors. So let's look for the greatest common factor of uh, 12 and 18. So for us to do this, we are going to list the factors of 12 first and the factors of 12 are nothing but 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12 itself. All of these numbers can divide 12 with a remainder of 0. And then we are going to list the factors of 18, which are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. Now, we can notice that 1, 2, 3 are common factors. 1, 2, 3, and 6 are common factors. But 1, 2, and 3 are factors, but they are not the biggest factor. So in those factors that are common, what is the biggest factor? The biggest factor is 6. Therefore, the greatest common factor between 12 and 6, uh, 18 is 6. Let's pick another example. What is the greatest common factor of 5 and 10? In this case, we also list the factors of uh, 5, which are just 1 and 5, because 5 is a prime number. It has only two factors, 1 and itself. What are the factors of 10? They are 1, 2, 5, and 10. Now, the two factors that are common between 5 and 10 are 1 and 5, but the biggest factor among those two factors are 5. So the factor, the common factor, which is greatest among 5 and 10 is 5. Now let's look at another example. We have the greatest common factor between 7 and 15. So in this case, we'll also list the factors of 7, which are 1 and 7, and the factors of 15, which are 1, 3, 5, and 15. Now, what are the factors that are common? Only one, and 
Therefore, the greatest common factor between 7 and 15 is 1. Now, let me introduce you to a terminology that is used when two numbers have a greatest common factor of 1, meaning these two numbers are only related with the prime factor of 1. So, we call these two numbers or we say that these two numbers are relatively prime numbers. Okay? So, if two numbers have a uh, greatest common factor of 1, then we call them relatively prime numbers. Okay, let's now take another example with three numbers as follows, 24, 30, and 45. What is the greatest common factor of these numbers? So again, we are going to look for the factors of 24, which are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24 itself and the greatest common and the factors of uh, 30 are 1 2 3 5 6 10 15 30 what about the factors of 45 the factors of 45 are 1 3 5 9 15 and 45 so when we look at these factors that are common we pick out the greatest factor and the greatest factor is nothing but 3. So the greatest common factor between 24, 30, and 45 is 3. Okay? So now we are going to move to uh, the least common multiples of a number, which we call LCM. So just like we look at the greatest common factor, the least common multiples, the word least simply means the smallest. So we are going to have common multiples of two numbers, but we are going to pick this time, not the highest, we are going to pick the smallest. What do we mean by the multiples of a number? The multiples of a number are simply that number times 1, the number times 2, the number times 3, the number times 4, and so on and so forth. So for instance, the the multiples of 2 will be 2 times 1, 2 times 2, 2 times 3, 2 times 4, 2 times 5, and so on and so forth until we get to where our desired result lies. Then we can stop. So the least common multiples of 2 are 2 for 2 times 1, 4, 6, 8, and so on. So for instance, let's look for the least common multiples of the numbers 12 and 18. So we are going to look for the least common are the multiples of 12 rather are 12 times 1 which is 12, 12 times 2 which is 24, 12 times 3, 36, 12 times 4, 48 times 5, 60 and so on. Why the least common uh, the multiples of 18 are 18 times 1 18 times 2, 36 times 3, 54 times 4, 72, and so on. Now, we can end there because we have already gotten the common multiples, the least common multiple already. And if we look at these uh, multiples of 12 and 18, we can see that the least common multiple between 12 and 18 is 36. Therefore, the LCM of 12 and 18. 18 is 36. Let's pick another example. The least common multiples of 5 and 10. So in this case, again, we are going to list the multiples of 5 and the multiples of 10, and we pick the list. So the multiples of 5 will be nothing but 5 times 1, 5, 5 times 2, 10, 5 times 3, 15, 5 times 4, 20, and so on. If we don't get the desired uh, uh, the required number at this stage, we can continue. Okay, the multiples of 10 are 10 times 1, 10, 10 times 2, 20, 10 times 3, 30, 10 times 4, and so on, 40, and so on. So, but we have already seen a least common multiple here, which is nothing but 10. 20 is as well common, but 20 is not the least, so we can't pick 20. So the least is 10, so the LCM between 5 and 10 is 10. 
what about if they ask us the least common multiples of more than two numbers what if they ask of the least common multiples of three numbers like the least common multiple of 24 30 and 45 what is it so we are going to list the multiples of 24 which are uh, 24 48 72 96 120 144 and so on we we'll end at 360 in this case okay but we can notice that these multiples are too much they are too much so if they give us a very big number then is going to be so cumbersome for us to do this exercise so in the later video we are going to introduce another concept of prime factors to get the multiples and the ACF by prime factors let's go back to our question at hand the multiples of 30 will be 30 uh, 60 rather not 30 again 30 60 90 120 150 180 210 and so on up to 360 why the multiples of 45 will be 45 for 45 times 1 will be 90 for 45 times 2 45 times 3 135 and so on so we can see that the least common multiples between these three numbers 24 30 and 45 is 360 so in that case the LCM between 24 30 and 45 is 360 so guys some people may not know how this is very important in their day-to-day -day life but there are so many questions that depend on this so in our next video which is going to be day 5 of the fundamentals of mathematics we are going to see how to handle problems relating to the ACF and the LCM and these questions are like questions like this on the board which says that at the gym Hillary swims every six days runs every four days and cycles every 16 days if she did all three activities today, in how many days will she do all three activities again on the same day? Oscar needs to ship 14 rock CD, 12 classical CDs, and 8 pop CDs. He can pack only one type of CD in each box, and he must pack the same number of CDs in each box. What is the greatest number of CDs Oscar can pack in each box? So these are questions that depend on LCM and ACF that we just studied. So guys, watch out for the next video on the weather problems when it comes to the least common multiples and the greatest common factors. Stay with me and remain blessed. Bye-bye.